Okay, so this will be a quick tutorial on how to get a uh, door of time skip using lunch storage. So, um, first thing uh, to get lunch storage, there's a couple of different ways that I've seen for door of time. Um, do that. So all I did was crouch stab, jump slash, and then while the jump slash was still putting Link up on the little pedestal, uh, do the quick uh, target B and forward movement. Um, so let me get rid of the jump slash storage. Uh, alternatively, the other setup that I've seen is back flip twice. Uh, a forward slash. Um, then what you want to do is, well, turn around. And then B and up in very quick succession. So, let's do that one again. Back flip twice. Forward slash. Turn around. So he's on the edge like this. And then B and up in very quick succession. So Link should just fall off like that. Uh, you're going to want to release target and retarget. And then just back up to the wall. Uh, then you need to put away the sword for this trick. So for that reason, um, let me do this again. Oops. Let's do it this way. There we go. So for that reason, I have the bottle here so that I can backflip over to the wall here and uh, in the middle of a backflip, equip the bottle. So for uh, Keru's method, um, it was shieldless, but it's pretty easy to modify it for a shield. Uh, what you want to do is just roll into the corner. So hop once and then roll into the corner. So you should have angle 9C D8, and you should have um, position negative 90. The Y position doesn't matter, and 1104. Uh, if you're curious, these are the watches that I'm using. Uh, the first one is Link's facing angle, and then the other three are the X, Y, and Z positions, respectively. Um, so once you're here with this angle, what you want to do is hop, side roll, hop, hop, side roll. So you should be at position negative 67 and change, 0, 1156 and change. And now, I guess this is the hardest part of the trick, in my opinion, is just a single ESS turn, like that. So the sword button, B button, whatever it is, uh, should just be overlapping with the dark patch and the door. If you went too far, well, then the sword button is not going to overlap with that dark patch. But if you're facing the right, or the correct angle, 9-5-D-0, um, the sword button should overlap both the dark patch on the wall and that pattern on the door of time. Now, uh, the only thing that you have left to do is to quick draw your sword. Press B and R in quick succession. Like that. Um, target and then just a neutral jump slash. And you're home free. Uh, I said also that you could... Um, uh, you could also do an extra roll right here. So right here you could do an extra side roll, and it doesn't seem to affect it. Um, you, obviously you don't want to do it because it wastes a little bit of time, but if you do, just know that you don't have to reset the whole setup. And if you mess anything up, like I just did right there, you can always just start it over again. You don't lose your uh, lunge storage if you're just doing these rolls. So, pretty easy. <laughs>